Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Hans Schwartz. I'm a board certified cardiologist in the United States and I'm board certified in advanced heart failure and transplant cardiology. It is my pleasure today to talk briefly about heart failure or congestive heart failure, which is a disease of enormous economic as well as individual burden for the society and the individual. In the United States alone, there is currently more than 6 million patients diagnosed with heart failure. This is a very large number. And this is the only entity in cardiovascular medicine, as you probably know, of increasing prevalence and incidence, whereas other conditions such as strokes, uh, acute coronary syndromes, and heart attacks go down in number. Heart failure is on the rise. And keep in mind that nowadays more patients die of heart failure than of many cancers combined. The management or treatment, especially of advanced stages of heart failure, um, consists of several uh, individual aspects from medications um, over devices to surgical options. In the management of heart failure, we often treat purely left ventricular dysfunction, meaning we as cardiologists, we concentrate purely on the organ failure, meaning the failing heart or the left ventricular dysfunction. However, if we deal with patients with advanced stages of heart failure, we have to keep in mind that over time, this is a progressive disease which affects every single organ system in the human body, from the kidneys to the adrenal glands to the muscles to the liver, to the brain, and all other organs. So we deal with a multi-organ disease in its end stages and, it, uh, and a wide variety of different symptoms leading to suffering and significant reduction of quality of life of our patients. So besides medical therapy, which focuses mainly on treatment of left ventricular dysfunction, we have in our management nowadays, we have to focus on the multi-organ system disease of heart failure. And that uh, entails not only the surgical options such as left ventricular assist devices or biventricular assist devices or heart transplantation, but for the majority of patients, a multidisciplinary team approach, especially for those who are not candidates for surgical options. I personally favor the early involvement of palliative care. Heart failure still nowadays, as you know, is a progressive disease with an enormous high mortality and an enormous burden for morbidity. So heart failure patients get worse over time. There is no cure in the majority of cases. And those patients are readmitted to hospitals over and over again uh, usually in worse conditions than um, at the initial status quo. So besides our medical management and surgical management, we need to see the entire social, uh, psychological environment of the patients and their caregivers. And in this regard, the involvement of palliative care is highly recommended. And in our experience, um, very beneficial for the patients as well as their outcomes. Again, my name is Dr. Arne Schwartz and I highly endorse the early involvement of palliative care in the management of chronic heart failure, especially in advanced stages and especially in the elderly. And don't misunderstand, palliative care does not always mean hospice. It means relief of pain, improvement of symptoms of different causes and by thus, hopefully, improvement of quality of life for heart failure patients. Thank you for your attention.